8.30 and we've cleared out the kitchen. They're coming tomorrow at 8 to start prepping for paint. So I'm not exactly sure what they're gonna do tomorrow, but I'm assuming like taping everything off, probably taking all the doors off and all of that. So we have everything out of all the cabinets. Most of it's in the garage. Um, some of the stuff we just pushed back, like stuff that I wasn't as worried about. But like all these are all emptied, just so there's not as much dust. We ordered an oven, but it's on back order, so it's gonna be, I think, around five weeks till yeah, that, two to five weeks. till it leaves the warehouse. So could be a while, I'm not really sure. And then I, I think like this whole kitchen is going to be taped off. So uh, we took some snacks out of here and then we put some food. I'll show you in the outside fridge just to tide us over because I'm not sure if we'll even be able to come in here at all. I don't even know if we can use the microwave. So we put our air fryer in the office too. But this is pretty much like sealed up. We're not going to be in here. So let me show you in the office. I made mean, like a little station here. So we have our coffee maker here and then the air fryer there so we can just lay that on the ground and plug in. And then we have some plastic utensils, some paper plates, and then just like a few things from the pantry. And then this is all just stuff that was in the cabinets, like all of our vitamins. I moved all of my oil stuff up there. We have all of our coffee cups over here. So out here, again, I'm not sure like if they're gonna set up in the garage or if they're gonna set up outside. So I wanted to keep this clear for them just in case, but most of our kitchen stuff is in here. I just didn't want it to get, cause we could just push it back, but I didn't want it to get all dusty. Like whenever construction's going on, everything just gets really yuck. So I'd rather it just be out here and stay cleaner. So here is like, honestly, everything that was in our cabinets. It's so crazy. It's gonna be a little nuts for the next couple days. I think it's supposed to take a week. Um, we might get a lot of like DoorDash, so we'll see how it goes. And then in the outside fridge, I moved uh, like our milk, some juice, some foods, we could do like grilled cheese. I have leftover pasta. Um, I had another thing of cinnamon rolls. So I figured I could make those for them. And then in the freezer, we have some chicken nuggets, waffles. Oh my God, there's the elf. <laughs> I just noticed that. Andrew told me he hid it in here and I totally forgot. Oh my God. But the head like falls off. That is so creepy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so I'm waiting to put that out because I got the girls um, Christmas jammies and I wanted like the elf to deliver them. So they're supposed to get here in a few days. So I'm waiting for those to come. And then Ginger will start. Excuse the face, I just took a shower, but I'm very excited to put everything back into its place because I feel like when I moved here, we shoved everything into the cabinets in the kitchen and nothing like really ever made sense to where everything was um, laid out. So I want to go through everything and like have a system for where everything goes. So I'm very, very much looking forward to that. So wish us luck tomorrow morning. I'm going to document the whole process so you can see what it looks like here. I want mm, my owl and my chain and also my... Those are the two things I want and... You're right. And, uh, but th those are all, all th those are only what I want. Okay. So a little stuffed animal and a keychain. Yeah. All right. Great. The white elf dress, the purse with jewelry, and the leotard that I got. Oh. Okay. And a new, and some. Uh, and, and some and some Elsa shoes. Oh, okay. Huh. That's what's on my list. Okay. <laughs>
You got a good jump? Oh, look at, oh. Wow, you're going to eat it all? Look at Darla's outfit, Mom. Look at Darla's outfit, Mom. Mom, look at Darla's outfit, Mom, for school. Darla's outfit is so cute. All right, day one. We are surviving. Here is the progress today. So, one guy was here all day long. He was the hardest worker ever. Man, I couldn't believe everything he did all by himself. So, he taped everything down. Everything that's open is taped. All the drawers are taken out. And then that's the only part that won't be painted, that uh, the bottom piece of the range hood. So that'll be stained, but everything else is going to be painted white. So they're coming tomorrow morning to start. And yeah, I'm excited to see what's gonna be done tomorrow. Oh, and they took the, they moved the fridge right there. So it's so funny, like when I'm sitting in um, the office, I look out and it looks like I'm in like Home Depot with fridges being sold or something. But it is pretty cool because we, um, once we do get a new fridge, we want it to be counter depth. This one's like really, really deep and it hides so much of that corner of the kitchen. So just with that gone, it already opens up the kitchen so much because you can see all of that. And this whole space just looks so much bigger. So it's really cool. Every little thing makes a huge difference. Oh, and I'm currently making the mac and cheese in our toaster oven air fryer thing. I went to Trader Joe's this afternoon and I picked up a bunch of really easy things that we could make that don't require like anything. I'll show you really quick. We have, it's just, it's crazy. Um, I got salads for myself. I got Anderson wraps, some turkey wraps, some soups, um, more soup, like, prepackaged egg salad, chicken salad, and a few frozen things. So a couple mac and cheeses, pancakes, pizza. So we're gonna be at our all time healthiest this week. Okay, we are back with day two of kitchen renovation. We're picnicking in here. We're having a picnic in the office with some pasta. The girls are loving it. And what's that bowl next to you, June? What's in that little bowl? You mean this one? That one. What do you have that this, you're serving? This one? Yep. Lemons. Wow. <laughs> you like lemons? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, pasta. What else do you have for your picnic? We have a gone bowl. What? We have a gone bowl. Oh, a gone bowl? Yeah, with nothing in it. Okay, Owen's <laughs> really grumpy. <laughs> wow. This is a great spread. Today, uh, they did more, same guy, he was here all day again. He taped all this off as the whole flooring covered and he sanded the cabinets and filled all of the holes that the old hardware was in. Everything is taped off now, like the dishwasher, the sink, all the backsplash, so everything is ready to go for tomorrow morning. So tomorrow they start actually painting, and then, I don't know if they prime first, like they just prime tomorrow and then paint the following day, but they said it's gonna be like a week, so. Woo, it's been, it's been interesting to say the least. And I am looking extra crazy because it's been extra crazy over here. All right, it is day three over here for painting the cabinets. So primer is going on as we speak. I can't see much right now, it's all taped off, but I am down in the office. Owen had a doctor's appointment today. Everything was fine. Um, we just like measured him and everything. And he's, he's a big baby, which is what we thought, but he's in the 95th percentile for height and weight. So he's a big boy. Let me show you our situation right now. Not much has changed. But I did get water last night, finally. I got some more microwavable pastas. Um, but yeah, here is, so it's all taped off right now. So the tape goes, or the plastic goes all the way around. So he's spraying it with primer right now. Um, how nice is my friend? She dropped me off a coffee. 
on my doorstep. I thought that was just so nice of her. Oh my gosh. I was upstairs with Andrew last night that we were watching TV in the playroom and I was like, honestly, I think I might cry when I see the paint. I'm not even kidding. Like I, it's just been such a buildup. We were talking about this kitchen renovation versus our old house. And I felt like our old house, it didn't seem as drawn out. And I think it's because we didn't have kids then. Everything feels like a little more, in, not intense. I don't know how to explain it. Like maybe more work. And I just like want it done quicker now. Um, back at our old house, I didn't care as much. I didn't mind the drawn out process. But painting the cabinets has been the main thing that I've been wanting to do for our kitchen because it'll have the most impact, but it was the last step. So it's been hard to wait. So I'm just, oh my God, I'm so excited. I feel like even with the primer, it's gonna look so different because the primer is white. So I feel like even after today, it's gonna look so awesome. I can't even, I can't even wait. Okay, I'm coming around the back. Um, our painter just went on a lunch break. We have to come around this way because it's all taped off. And I'm pretty sure it's just primer right now, but the primer looks so good. Oh my goodness. Like I feel like it already just looks like it's painted. I am so excited, oh my gosh. Yeah, this is just primer. Look how beautiful the hood looks. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Making gingerbread houses outside. My Sears. Oh, Very that's cute. Really good, Mom. I can't put this on a spot. Uh -uh. I think it looks pretty good. Can, can you do wow, you got it all on here, Jenny. Here it comes. Choo choo. Are you pulling, Mom? Is it getting heavy? Okay, so I haven't filmed it all today because it's been so crazy, but it's day five over here. And paint is all up. It looks amazing. And he did the door to, I think, it was hard to tell because it was white to begin with, but I didn't want it to be like just a random shade of white. So, uh, yeah, that's not primer. That's definitely the paint because I see a slight sheen to it. So, everything is painted so tomorrow I think he's going to be doing the walls uh, we got we picked up paint for that so the paint on the cabinets is white dove by Benjamin Moore and then we're gonna paint actually all downstairs and upstairs in simply white by Benjamin Moore we're first just going to do the kitchen because the kitchen has like a a light cream brownish shade just above the cabinets, let me come in here. It just goes above the cabinets and then down here. So it's basically just like that top trim and around the pantry door. So um, we're gonna have that painted now while this is all taped off, obviously. And then eventually we, Kyla, don't come in here, it stinks. <laughs> eventually we will be painting the rest of the house that color. Right now it's like a light blue. It's like a, a blue gray. So I think everything will just pop a lot more if it's white, but everything looks so, so good. I cannot wait to see it with um, like the counters and everything out, but I am so tired right now. It's been a long week. All right, guys, it is Saturday. And we have finally moved into the living room because it doesn't smell like paint anymore. I know, we can breathe. So we can sit down here for the first time all week. And we got in and out And Owen loves his little grilled cheese. Where's your fry? Where's your fry? Fry, 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 fry. This is your fry. What's that? Where's your fry? Pretty good, man. Oh, my milky. 
Milk? I do ask. Please. Okay, so I'll show you guys inside. It looks really, really good. Okay, so <clears throat> the paint, it's all done. Mom, why is you a little ginger? Okay, I will show them ginger. Um, they just have to stain the base of that. Let me show you. So this is all tape up here too, so that'll come off, but it's here down that'll be stained like our mantle. <clears throat> but everything is in now, like the shelves on that side, because that'll be, it's the glass front doors there. And then almost all of the doors are attached. I think just, yeah, pretty much all are. So here you can see with the counter and the backsplash, it all looks really good together. And then over here. Oh, also they painted the, the walls as well. And that just brightens it up a lot. The painter has just left. It is all done. So I'm going to share what it all looks like. And I also got my hair done today. So it's back to Auburn and it's not going to be this dark. This is all, um, it's like a semi-permanent, so it'll fade over time and my highlights will kind of peek through, but it was nice to be out of the house for a little bit. So I'm going to flip you guys around and share everything, just how it all looks. And then we still have to hang up our pendant lights. We have one that came in the mail. The other one should be here tomorrow. And then our oven is currently back ordered, so we're waiting on that. And then we just need to get a fridge because ours really sticks out. But here is the kitchen. We're literally just standing here staring at it. <laughs> it just looks so great. I'm just so happy. We're both just like silent, just standing here. It's just so crazy to me. Well, like he matched, I he matched the wood stain really well. Yeah, they did that the stain today to great. match that. And I was nervous about that because stain, it's like so finicky. I mean, it can get really dark quick, but like standing back at this spot makes it look just so different, it's crazy. We're gonna wait till tomorrow to close all of them. So we can put some stuff out. I do wanna get some stuff on the counters really, really badly. Yeah, we we'll gonna put some stuff on the counter. Yeah. But it does make now our fridge stick out even more. I know, look at that. Before it just really blended in because everything was black. So you didn't really even notice it, but now you really notice it. It takes up so much space. There's just a lot of little things they did that I love. Like even the, the tile, they touched up a lot of stuff and put in. They did? Yeah, like they did some filler and stuff there and even like along the sides, they just touched all that up. Oh, we also, so this is all painted all around it used to be like a like a cream color i love this part right here so we need to find stools i wish we could just but, close everything because right now i'm so motivated to put stuff away i know i want to put like, everything away I just clean and like get rid of stuff we don't need i know we can can we still put stuff you know because then owen will just take it out huh? yeah but the hardware looks so pretty the gold i was kind of worried not worried but I guess I had to convince Andrew to do gold hardware because he just thought, okay, it's gonna be like shiny gold, but it really just blends. It's almost softer than doing silver. Like our old house, we had chrome and I loved it, but this is more of a softer look. And I really like how it looks. We did do the chrome um, faucet and I like the mixing of the metals too. Well, it makes the tile stand out really well now. Yeah, the tile looks way different now. It's kind of dark as I'm filming this. But then if you look at like our go, washing better. machine, like look how good that stainless steel is going to look. Yeah. So that's going to be like the, the rest of our appliances. The rest of the appliances will be like that. And I also love the glass. It's going to look really pretty with all of our stuff in there. I think it'll just pop a lot more. With the black, everything kind of just was lost. You couldn't really notice anything. It just looks so much warmer to me. Here, let me do a close-up of the stain. Honestly, it's so pretty. It looks like we just bought this piece, Andrew. Wasn't it? Like you would never guess they just did that this morning. I'm just staring. I'm just in awe right now. And also I like how the counters look because it pulls out the gray tones in the counters. So 
that really ties into the backsplash. It all just like looks so, so nice. I'm so happy. And also we're talking like quiet weirdos because all of our kids are sleeping right yeah. now. So don't think we're just real strangers. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm whispering in half of my videos and yelling in the other half. Oops, I'm just not oh, oh, knocking stuff. Oh my God. Get out of here, dude. Well, they're all, oh my God. <laughs> Get the heck out, go. You're too clumsy to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they also painted this pantry door so it matches the walls. I'm trying to think, is there anything I have left out? And then the pendants, um, I'd show you, but they're all packaged up. So they're in a gold, like the hardware is gold. We want the gold hardware. And then the actual pendant is like a ceramic material and it's white and then the hardware, pretty much, it looks like this, but it's a little more antiqued bronze. But I kind of like the fact that it's not going to be super matchy-matchy. It's going to be a little bit more just, I don't know. They're very earthy. I love them. Hey, take a walk through the cabinets again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what else I love? How the island looks like a complete piece now. You know? Before it was like, this was... Um, raw wood and now it looks like a really complete long island <laughs> people are gonna think we're so weird i'm literally just standing here staring but i just want to take it in it's been such a long wait mm -hmm. it's weird for it to finally be done ah <sighs> all right so I thought I was going to film putting everything back, but now that we can't close the doors, I'm not going to do that. So probably in the next few videos, I'll show. So here now, all my videos will be in the kitchen. It looks so good. Okay, so I guess I will end the video here. There's not much more that I can show and I can just be standing here forever just looking at it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this whole week long process, seeing every little step. I'm excited to show it all with more finish once everything is back in place. But it's gonna be so nice to be able to use our kitchen again. It's been crazy. It has been the longest week ever. So I'm exhausted, I'm out of breath, and I'm ready for a glass of wine. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys soon, bye.